a tarnation? I swear I just packed that thing. You did. Well, where in the gangrene is the stuff? I took it out, dear. Well, what'd you do that for? You don't need all that stuff. Everything you have in that bag that's right here. God bless America. You know I don't know how to work that thing. Wayne, I have showed you a thousand times. You just never pay attention. What? Wayne, I'm serious. Well, I know, I know. You're always telling me I only got two faults. One, I don't listen. Two, um, uh, something, something else. Something else. I don't remember. Use it. Well, if I can figure it out, but knowing me, I'm going to order more than flannel leg warmers from China again. We all know that wasn't an accident. Shh. Don't never tell no one. We'll see about that. Yeah, okay, honey. Well, I'm going to skedaddle. Tell Buddy and Earl hi for me. Sure will, honey. We're going to have more fun than a frog in a glass of milk. Woo! What? You come out here for one more kissy poo? No. Well, yes. But no. I just needed to see if, if we have enough money for our car insurance. Oh, um, you know, I think I just spent our last $20 filling up my truck. But we'll find a way. Don't you worry. Are you going to ask Buddy and Earl if they know of any jobs? Oh, uh... So you still haven't told them, have you? We're gonna be just fine. Thank the good Lord for that money we inherited from Uncle Ben. And then the, the factory, they cut back. Well, and I got laid off. But hey, we're gonna be just fine, right? You're right. God has taken care of us. He sure has. Hezekiah 1423 says, Money will come to those who do not worry about what the neighbor has, nor the left, nor the right. But he's a friend that sticketh closer than the melted butter. Amen. That's definitely not in the Bible. But I better go, cute stuff. I love you. Because I've got big muscles. <laughs> Woo! Hey, you better take me to dinner before you do that again.
Come give your Mimo some lovin's. It's your turn now. <laughs> Come on in here now and get you something to eat before you go. No, no, that's okay. Um, what you got? Oh, I got pork chops, pork tenderloin, mashed potatoes, baked beans, and um, those homemade biscuits and the brown gravy that you like. And that was just left over from lunch. That sounds pretty good. <laughs> But no, no, I better get going. Uh, I got some of those deep fried kidney beans. Well, I guess I could. No, <sighs> oh, I better not. Wayne Buddy's probably already waiting for me down at the cabin, so I better get down there. Now, you sure you're good with keeping the girls this weekend? Catherine already dropped off all their stuff on her way to speak at that homeschool conference. Uh, you gotta watch them, though. They like to prank. <laughs> Hey, Arlene, tell them what you did this morning. <laughs> okay, so this morning, I put an air horn in his deodorant, and so every time he's putting it on, it goes toot toot. Hey, you remember last week when you put that baking soda in my hair dryer? <laughs> Went to blow dry my hair. Baking soda in my eyeballs. <laughs> it hurt pretty good. It burns when I blink. And when I don't blink as well. But boy, you got me good, didn't you? <laughs> I'll keep an eye on them. Now, don't you worry. You boys have a good fishing trip. Okay, Mom. See you Sunday. Wait! What? I got you some food packed here oh. for the road. You sure Take do. This. What is this? Oh, boy. Wait, wait. I got my more. My favorite soda. Oh, this is, oh, this yeah. is heavy. <laughs> Oh, look oh, at that. This is heavy. Yep. Can't remember there. There, 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 I'm just joking. <laughs> hey, you gonna let us come on in here? We're just gonna fiddle fight around here all night. Come on in, guys. Oh, it's hotter than a blister bug in a pepper patch. That's right. Won't you turn that AC down till she's blowing snowballs? Ask and you shall receive. Oh, my. Now, this is nice. This looks real good. Buddy, 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 you did a real good job. <laughs> did, you, did you do all this yourself? Mm-hmm. Me and little dud, little dud, little, little bud. Well, how is little bud anyhow? He's good. And a uh, little, little bud, bud junior, junior, how's he? He's growing like weeds. He's just a bald headed cutie. Now, last time we talked, you said little bud's making flip flops or something? Yep, <laughs> flip flops for frogs. Well, I didn't even know frogs wore flip-flops. Oh, yeah. Frogs love them. <laughs> oh, why's that? Because they're open toed. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, oh. <laughs> Oh, I see what you did there. Buddy, you're just as funny as you always were. Always a joking, ain't you? <laughs> oh, that's, he's funner than a cat full of facts. <laughs> well, well, that ain't right. Hey, what time you boys want to head out in the morning? Chew. Two? Uh, no, I'm, I'm chin. Chin? Ten. Sorry, guys. The later it gets, the worse my speech gets. Either way, buddy, I think you've come a long way, and I say you're doing a great job. Well, I'll say. I remember back in the day when I couldn't understand a single word you said. I mean, it was bad. I remember that, too. I mean, 
I was like, it was so bad. I was like, am I the idiot or are you the idiot? I mean, I, all right. <laughs> like, hello, is this good old fashioned American English or stupid ease? <laughs> all right. Wayne. Sorry. It's okay. I forgive you. It's just, I don't do very good talking when it gets late at night or when I get flustered. That's when it starts to get real bad. Noted. So, you boys ready to hit the hay? Faux shizzle. Oh, gangster. <laughs> Ooh. Boy, I'm getting sleepier than a gristle in a bear trap. Beds are in there. I'm gonna go get my nightgown on. A gown? Are you going to graduation or are you going to bed? Hey, it's not that kind of a gown. It's authentic honey badger fur. It helps me sleep at night, okay? I had it flown in all the way from Peru. Ooh, fancy. Did you come into some money or something? Shh. What? What is it? I invented something. It's a pillow. And I sold the patent for a lot of money. And I don't want word getting out that I'm rolling in it. Oh, well this ought to be good. Oh, it is. I use mine all of the time. It's called the Stay Put Pillow. Huh. That kind of looks like a seahorse. All right, so what you do is you stick your neck in this thing right here, and then you stick your hand right here, and then look, Oh, so comfy. It's the pillow for all occasions. Use it in the car, napping on the couch, or even sleeping in the bed. The Stay Put Pillow. <laughs> what, is this a commercial? I'll be sure to give you one. No, no thank you. Mm, like that will ever catch on. What'd you say? What I said was, don't let all that money change you. When I came in all that money my uncle left me, it'll do something to you. Hey, I'll be careful, Wayne. Uh-oh. Uh, but isn't it neat to like think that if you wanted to take a bath in $100 bills, you could if that is or was or might be something you wanted to do. What? I mean, I would never want to do that again. So, uh, not that I have or even wanted to. But let's say, hypothetically speaking, if somebody wanted to do that, they could. Okay. Time for bed. <sighs> yes. Okay. I get it. Lord, why is it that Buddy is super rich all of a sudden, and I'm so broke I couldn't jump over a nickel to save a dime? Well, I'm as poor as Job's turkey. Shoot, I'm even too poor to pay attention. I know I shouldn't worry about it, but Lord help me, please. Give me a sign that everything will be all right. Wayne. Yes, Lord? Thou speakest to thy servant? Wayne. Lord, is it you? I ain't Lord. I'm Earl. Earl? Good gravy, what are you doing? I can tell something's wrong. What's up, Buttercup? Oh, nothing. Nothing you need to worry about. Looks like Wayne the Stain's got something to hide. <laughs> Again. I ain't dumb, Wayne. Uh, well, that's debatable. What's got up your crawl, Wayne? Listen, Earl. You can't tell anybody. Ooh, secrets. <laughs> I love secrets. <laughs> Ain't never been part of one, but I promise. I got laid off work, Earl. Oh, no. When? Oh, several months ago. But you're okay, right? Because you still have all that money left over from your Uncle Ben? No. I paid off my girl's college. I had a couple other investments that really didn't work out. Like what? Blockbuster? Worm farms and a Nigerian king needed some money. Yeah, yes. That guy emailed me too. Do not send him any money. Well, I ain't that dumb. <laughs> Sorry. Earl, it's embarrassing. Hey, buddy, the rich now, you could ask him for the money. I ain't gonna do that, no way. 
Besides, you can't tell anyone. I don't want to ruin our fishing trip. We ain't seen each other in years. Oh, Wayne. Earl, forget I said anything. Let's go to sleep. Let's get up in the morning and catch some big old bass. Okay? Good night, Wayne. Listen, it'll all work out to the purpose of the Lord who loves to give for all of them that are called, so... It'll be okay. Yeah, you're right. Boy, I'm glad we could get together again, fellers. It's been too long. Debbie insisted we make it happen. Yeah, uh, how is Debbie? Did she make a partner at the firm yet? Yup. She's down at the Capitol working with the Attorney General. Never thought I'd be married to a big-time lawyer. But to tell you the truth, none of us thought that either. Hey, you guys know how to make a lawyer smile? How's that? You get the camera ready and say, Feeth! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good one. I object. Oh, that was a good one, Wayne. <laughs> You're so funny. And in a whole heap of trouble. Looks like you boys are trespassing. You know what I do with rednecks who break the law? No. What? Shut your cake, old Earl. Sorry. Wait, you brought cake? Oh, shh. I'm starving. Just Wait, be cool, dude. man. I'll haul you goons in right now for fishing in federal waters. Those bass are more protected than your grandmother's precious pearls. And this land right here is more sacred than the Kashi Viswanath Temple. Yeah, it's a thing. I got you. I'm sorry, officer. We can leave. <laughs> Stutter much? Yeah, I'd say you need to leave, but not before you show me your fishing licenses. Lathens? Did I stutter? No, I didn't. But he did. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> well, sir, I didn't realize we needed a fishing license to fish on Buddy's land. Buddy, this is your land, right? Well, I thought so. See that there's the problem, Buddy. You thought. See those orange markers over there, the other side of the pond? You see them? Squint real hard. Yeah, yeah, that's where your land ends, you turds. This water and all the land around it for 600 square miles houses the one and only ivory-billed woodpecker. It's an endangered species. Ever heard of it? Yeah, I have. I seriously doubt that. But I was hand-picked by the governor of Arkansas and designated to guard these here woods. And you three are breaking the law. We didn't know, kind sir. Surely you understand. Not my problem. And don't call me Shirley. I need your fishing licenses and IDs pronto. Whoa, I didn't know the circus was in town. Circus? <laughs> because of all these clowns I'm watching. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. Here's my ID. Well, well, well. If it ain't Wayne the Stain. Sir, do I know you? Well, you should. Rick Hawkins, class of 97 valedictorian, class president, MVP of the 97 state finals. Ringing any bells, or shall I keep going? Uh, Come on, man. Slick Rick. Well, my girlfriend gave me that nickname. It just kind of caught on. <laughs> okay, yeah. yeah, Slick Rick. Yeah. yeah, I remember. Yeah, well, I mean, look at you. Still a pathetic hick, I see. Oh, no, but that's a that's a nice attempt at a mustache. Don't worry. 
It'll grow in one day. Hey. Oh, I'm just being serious. Man, I haven't seen you since graduation night, I guess. Yeah, it's the night my girlfriend Sonya dumped me because I wanted to make something of myself. I have ambition. Anyway, I kicked her out of the car and made her walk home. But then as I'm rounding the corner, I look back and I see you stopping to pick her up in your nasty old black Toyota. <laughs> that's so lame. Yeah, that's right. I did pick her up, Rick. Whatever happened to her? She was quite attractive. Hey, that's my sister. Yikes. Yeah, those jeans don't add up. I married her, Rick. She married you? <laughs> that's a huge downgrade. Well, at least I'm not a huge jerk. Ow. Well, okay. I could find the ever-living snot out of you boys. But since we've had such a nice little reunion here, I think I'll let you boys go. Thank you, sir. You won't see us again on this property. Stinking straight, I won't. Because if I do, I might not be so kind. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And if this happens again, I might have to use deadly force. So get moving. You have 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yes, Governor, the IBWP is dead. And I know exactly who killed it. I can eat the north end of a southbound polecat. Well, hey, buddy. Hey, Hank. Now, are these the brother-in-laws you've been telling me about? Yep, Earl and Wayne. Well, nice to meet you, Hank. Well, how's fishing today, boys? Well, Hank, the only thing biting today was giant skeeters. Did Sasquatch show up today? <gasps> Is he serious? Well, it wasn't Sasquatch, but it was a different hairy, huge beast. Yeah, with a fuzzy caterpillar on his top flip. Fuzzy caterpillar. <laughs> ah, must have been Game Warden Hawkins. Yeah, that's the one. He's a meanie McMean face. I knew my ears were burning for a reason. You nerds just can't keep my name out of your mouth. Well, don't flatter yourself, Slick Rick. Well, I'm not planning on flattering anyone. Ever. Yeah, it's just not something that's in my DNA. Yeah, I'd probably yeah, concur. Yeah, well, that is true. Yeah, that's fact. But. I am about to rock your world, you doofus. Oh! You're going to threaten us again, Rick? With that smart mouth, I ought to knock a knot in your noggin so big a calf could suck. But, I won't. All right, Rick, why are you here? You know, Wayne, I'm sure you used to be a man that had his house in order. But today, all I see is a man who hates ivory-billed woodpeckers. I love animals. Especially endangered ones. Duh. Oh, I'm sure your hunting record says otherwise. What exactly are you trying to say, Rick? 
I'm saying that there was only one buffoon that didn't know how to properly shoot a gun out in those woods today. Oh no, I, I left my gun at home today, so. One was the only one that brought his. <laughs> Earl! Bingo was his name -o. Hey, Wayne ain't shot nothing. No one asked you, but but buddy Anything you say or attempt to say could incriminate you too. Hey, I know these guys. They're definitely not criminals. Well, I guess that'll be for Judge Marshall to decide now, won't it? Now, now just wait a minute. Uh, now, now I did not and could not have been over there and done... Uh, I would not, I promise. Now, if I'd been over there and I'd just done... I would not have done what you said. Here's the thing. We were just over there fishing and, and there's there's no there's no way but mark these words what's that oh oh wayne you are coming with me oh. i'm hauling you and your Weak attempt of a mustache into the slammer. Forever. Let's go. Come on. Go. What are we gonna do? About what? About Wayne. Oh, I don't know. He's just going away to jail forever, so. Oh no! Mm -hmm. Forever? So we just took him to jail? Yeah, he did. I was gonna karate him, but I didn't want to go to jail neither. Well, can't you do something now, Earl? Oh yeah, I sure can. What I can do is whittle a normal size stick to an even smaller, sharper stick. <laughs> So. Anyway, we need to come up with a real plan. I knew it. I've always said it. Wayne likes trouble too much. And it's finally caught up to him. Mother, that doesn't help at all. <laughs> I'm just saying. Mima. I don't want to say I told you so, but I told you so. Listen guys, Wayne is a warrior, okay? He don't quit. He is a vicious animal on the inside and a clever vixen on the outside. You think Wayne's a girl fox? Oh, so that's what that means? <laughs> that is my bad. Wayne's probably joined the prison gang by now with neck tattoos. All right, I just got off the phone with the sheriff down at the jail. And he said since it was such a severe federal issue, they were gonna rush it to court tomorrow. Tomorrow? You should really think about moving on. Because you're still young and beautiful. Mother! Well, has anyone called Wayne's phone? Oh, I hadn't seen Wayne with his phone since we were fishing this morning. Well, your bird murdering brother in law is going to need a good lawyer. Yeah, I just hope Wayne is okay, wherever he is. You have a visitor. Hey, just making my rounds. Oh, well you're in for some pretty bad stuff then, huh? No, I, uh, uh stealing, drugs. Oh, I bet you were driving your tractor naked on a Sunday night. No, no, definitely not. I just wanted to give you this. Oh, is there a hidden key in there? No, no, you should read it. I'm the chaplain here, and I'm just spreading the good word. Well, that's nice and all, but I already know everything there is to learn about what's in this book right here. Oh, yeah? What does it say that can help you in this situation? Well, I do know that Saul and Pilas was in jail like this. They went to singing, chains fell off, the doors swung wide open. Well, yeah, sorta. 
Hey, you know, that's not a bad idea. What? That's how I'm gonna break out of here. I'm gonna sing me a song. <clears throat> sing it with me. Open the door of this jail, Lord. Open the door of this jail. Cause I didn't kill the bird. This man is innocent. Open the door of the jail, Lord. Stop it with the singing! Open right now. the door of the jail. It's awful! Terrible! Well, that was hurtful. Wayne, I'll be praying for you tomorrow. You need a miracle. Well, honestly, I've been needing a lot of those lately. Well, I believe, and I hope you do too. I do. I believe. Sister, Sonia. Hello, sister. Wake up, sister of mine. Sister, it is very important that I speak with you at this time. Earl! Hello, person that I do not know. May I speak to my sister, Sonia? It's me, ya goober. Hmm. To prove that it is who you say you is, R. Tell me something that only my sister Sonia would know. Well, once, when you were a teenager, you tried to take a bath in $100 bills. Okay. Of Monopoly money. I thought we were never to speak of that. Earl, what are you doing here at this time of night? So, earlier today you mentioned something about Wayne's phone, so I went back to the fishing spot where we were, and there it was, in the hands of a tiny raccoon. <laughs> Have you ever noticed how that raccoons look like tiny humans inside of raccoon costumes? It's just so cute. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, so I politely removed the phone from the tiny raccoon's adorable little hands, and well... Well what? Well, I think there is something that you and Wayne's lawyer really need to see. And I think we might have a real plan. We're here for case number WOFW2003. Let's begin. Court is in session. The prosecution is accusing the defendant, Mr. Wayne Stain, of killing the only remaining ivory billed woodpecker. It requires a severe sentence of 10 years in federal prison along with a $500,000 fine. <gasps> <laughs> Mr. Prosecutor, is that correct? That is correct, Your Honor. Are you ready to proceed? Indeed we are. Defense? Oh, hey, Frank. Mr. Stain, are you defending yourself? No, Your Honor. My lawyer has yet to arrive. This court will not tolerate tardiness. Your Honor, they're coming, I promise. It's all punk. In your dreams, little girl. I made sure your mom was here so you'd have someone to cry to when I mopped the floor with your sorry excuse for a case. Well, that's an interesting miracle. She's been dead for 12 years. Lucky her. And as for you, 
I found about 10,000 holes in your accusation, and I'm only gonna need to use one of them to prove my brother's innocence. Buckle up, princess. Let's wrap this up. I've got a nail appointment in 30 minutes. Your Honor, we are ready to proceed. Please the court, Your Honor, we call as our first witness, Earl Davis. No, thank you. Mr. Davis, you have to take the stand. I did. I stood up and I said, no thank you, though. Mr. Davis, come up here and have a seat. <sighs> Sit down. Stand up. No thank you. Make up your mind. Jeez. Mr. Davis. Uh, Earl. Uh, can I call you Earl? I don't know. <laughs> can you? <laughs> so, Earl, let's say that you had all of the free time in the world. What would you like to do with that? I would like to own a horse. No, Earl. I mean physically. What would you like to do physically? Oh, right, right, right. I would like to physically own a horse. <laughs> wow, Earl. Um, okay, let's just get to the point. You like to hunt, don't you? I do. Now, you typically go hunting with your brother-in-law, Mr. Stain. Is that correct? Yep, he taught me how to shoot a gun. <laughs> Did he now? Uh, would you say uh, Mr. Stain's a good shot? Oh, yes. He is a great shot. He kills all kinds of things. Such as? Deers, bears, cats, coons, dogs, uh, possums, opossums, uh, armadillos, moose, or meese. Moose, and I, I don't know how to say that. Go ahead, please. Wayne has killed many much moosin. Wow, that's a lot of animals, Earl. Oh yeah, I mean, he never misses. One time we actually thought we killed somebody and then we tried to bury the body. The FIBA was there, the cops were called. It was just a misunderstanding though. That was 20 years ago, so no problemo. Wow, well, thank you, Earl. Did I do good? You bet you did, Earl. No further questions of this witness, Your Honor. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Da, 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 boo. What'd you say? I'm sorry. I do. So, buddy, good old buddy. That's me. Would you say that you and Mr. Stain, uh, Wayne, are uh, close? Mm-hmm. So you would know everything that's going on with him? No doubt. So, buddy, uh, did you recently come into some money? You could say that. Did you give Wayne any of it? No. No, I haven't. No. Why? Well, surely you know that Wayne is behind on a lot of his accounts. He's seriously delinquent, hasn't worked in months, and you're saying you haven't helped out your best friend? That's kind of sad, buddy. Boo! No, no, I didn't, I didn't know any of, any of that in, information. I, I didn't, I, I didn't tell, he, I, I did not know that. But you say that you know everything about him and you would do anything for him. I would, I would, I would do, I would done do anything for him. Objection, your honor. He's badgering my husband. Uh, I mean the witness. Sustained. So, if you would do anything for him, would you be the kind of friend that would cover up a senseless killing, like last time, but this time, an endangered bird? Objection! That's falsified accusations, Your Honor. Now, Dinate Bonatad! Oh no, he's getting flustered. Debbie, you got to do something. Tessa Lincoln did know. Now you're just not making any sense. Hey, quit being mean! Now it just seems like you're lying. Objection! Ew, you're disgusting. So, buddy, did Wayne kill that bird? What's the deal of that? I'd say that's an admission to Wayne's guilt. Calm down. Run, Chilla Chin! Calm, everyone calm down. Order! No, Tilly! Oh, that was a good one. 
good. <laughs> no Tilly. <laughs> No further questions, Your Honor. Defense, any questions for this witness? Um, definitely not. Buddy, you can return to your seat. If it pleases the court, after discrediting these two witnesses, along with their rather odd and unusual behavior, I think it's a clear indication of Mr. Stain's guilt, along with the eyewitness account of this very fine officer who saw Mr. Stain, Wayne, shoot and kill that Ivory Bill Woodpecker to death. Exaggerate much? Prosecution rest, Your Honor. All right, y'all, let's do this. Defense calls our one and only witness, Mr. Rick Hawkins. Ooh, this'll be fun. Well, hello. Mr. Hawkins, I wouldn't talk much if I were you. You are definitely petting my peeves, and your arrogance smells like the inside of a sick old cow. Then why did you call me up here? Was it so the people could see my bleaks, my delts, my tries, my pecs? I just want everyone to see your face when I show you this. Your Honor, may I submit Exhibit A? Oh, you want some of this, Andy? Come on, bring it, Mama. Oh, yeah. Yeah, from like Eastern that. Newton County, and I'm from Westside. You don't mess with me, Sandy. Oh, okay, I can't get a job. I can get a job. I just ain't had the right job yet, Sandy. Oh, come on. Come on. Bring it. Oh, dear. Okay, now, here's the video that I intended to show. So get moving. You have 10 seconds. Oh, <laughs> 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Holy Toledo, she did it! So, Slick Rick, what do you have to say for yourself? Well, I, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I am, uh... Guilty. You're guilty. And you lied to cover up your mistake by framing my brother. Stick a fork in you, cause you're done. Okay, okay, I did it, alright. I killed the dumb bird. But Wayne... No matter what happens, my mustache is still better than yours. <laughs> Get this sick criminal out of here. You're going away for a long time. Come. Come. Sonia, call me! In light of this evidence, I have no other choice but to dismiss this case. Well, boys, I'm on the first train back to Little Rock. Try to stay out of trouble, at least until I get back. Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, sure. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes ma'am. Okay, yes. sure thing. Wayne. What? I'm mainly talking to you. What'd you say? I wasn't listening. Bye, Wayne. Bye, Debbie. You saved my tail again. Thank you. I tell you, man, she intimidates me real bad. 
It's modern fashion, Earl. It's really powerful. Yeah, I'll say. You know, she's so good, she can start an argument in an empty house. Oh, yeah, that's probably <laughs> true. Oh, heads up, seven up, Wayne. Here comes the governor. Oh, hey, governor. Uh, evening, sir. Good day to you. Top of the morning. I, I don't know. Wayne, I feel terrible about what just went down. Ah, oh, it's okay. I can let it slide like oil off a feed trough. That's good, Wayne. I'd like to discuss a very important matter with you today. Well, if I could be completely honest with you, I'm so nervous, I'm just sweating all over. It's running down my pants, behind my knees, down my calf, right into my boots. I think I'm about half filled up. Hey, man, don't be rattled. I've been talking to a lot of people today about you and about your character. Oh, like what? Well, Wayne, most people I've talked to today talk about what a great hunter you are. I'd say that's true. And they also say that you know these woods around here in this country like the back of your hand. Well, I'd say that's true, too. But what's that? I'm just messing. <laughs> you gotta watch out for Wayne. He's the comedian. <laughs> As you know, we've just had a substantial job come open a few minutes ago. Well, uh, how about that, you don't say? Wayne, I think you'd be the best game warden this state has ever had. What do you say about that? Yes! Yes! He says yes! <laughs> yes! Governor, yes, I think you have yourself a new game warden. Can you start Monday? I know this is a short notice, but if you can start Monday, I can write you a $7,000 sign-up bonus check. Will that work, bud? Yes, sir. I think I just swallowed my uvula. Watch out for Wayne, scene one. Ah, that! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't remember that step. Okay. Well, where in the dang green did you put the step the dang green? The dang green. Well, where in the dang green the dang green? <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. I, I, here, do it again. <clears throat> I had a loogie in my mouth I swallowed it. Never paid <laughs> Okay, let's do this again. But knowing me, I probably ordered some of them there Chinese final leggings from China again from, from Afghanistan even. I'm gonna order some more of them final flint. Justin, come on, you got this. <laughs> Don't never tell nobody. What was that? Because <laughs> the money comes from the trees. No, no, the Lord did not produce the money from the trees. Let's back all that up. <laughs> Do you need some coffee? Go drink. Go drink I can't remember coffee. stuff. Listen, here, here's how yeah, it's take go. a little coffee break. <laughs> but I can't even make it not make sense properly. No. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. You just you can't bite it. <laughs> and I can't bite. <laughs> no, you don't have any. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Noted. 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 <laughs> Noted. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> hey, it's not that kind of a gown. I, it, it, oh, you see that? Sorry, guys. The worse my speech gets, the later it gets. <laughs> <laughs> you think that matters? I know how to handle my money, Wayne. Yes, I can. What I can do is uh, whittle a normal size stick to an even smaller, even sharper, smaller stick. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you're bird murdering brother. <laughs> you're bird murdering. Well, your bird murdering brother-in-law's gonna need a good lawyer. <laughs> also, Just think tonight. Sorry. Anyway, we need to come up with a better plan. A real plan. Real plan. Anyway, we need to come up with a better plan. Real plan. Real plan. Yeah! To speak at that home cool. On her way to speak at that convention of the homeschool convention. <laughs> <laughs> on her way to that to speak at that home 
school convention. <laughs> I'm sorry. Lee's life's gonna be in everyone on the No, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. Cool. You're right. I gotta stop doing that. Yeah, how is Debbie? I just. Oh. <laughs> Once you try to take a bath and. Okay, wait. What? Bath and $100 bills. What? What's my line? <laughs> in Monopoly money in $100 bills. <laughs> you tried to take a bath of Monopoly money. <laughs> <laughs> of $100 what am I bills. saying? Cut. You got it. All right. Here we go. Well, once, when you were a teenager, you tried to take a bath in Monopoly money. <laughs> what? Money. Blah, 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 blah. What are you doing here? I can't talk. <laughs> Earl, what are you doing? <laughs> Seriously. I'm not. <laughs> All right, Rope. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> okay. Forever? Please the court, your honor. We call our first witness. I forgot his name. Earl Davis. Dad? I don't think that's mine, is it? Okay. Hello? <laughs> Dad. Hello? No, man, I'm filming a movie right now. I got a, I, I'm right in the middle of a scene. Oh, no. He's getting front. He's getting right in the middle of a scene. Oh, no. He's getting front. <laughs> to death. Yes. Yeah. Mr. Hawkins, I. Okay. I wouldn't talk much if I were you. Okay. Mr. Hawkins, I wouldn't talk much if I were you. I don't even know what a woodpecker looks like. Bye, Wayne. <clears throat> Bye, Wayne. <laughs> Whoa. 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 <laughs> what do you have in there? <laughs> Bye, Wayne. I can't do it. <clears throat> Bye, Wayne. Bye, Wayne. Longest hug of our entire life. <laughs> <laughs> we never hug like this. Uh, well, doesn't it feel good? It's, it's ear on ear. <laughs> I can feel your ear <laughs> on my ear. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear me? <laughs> it, so, it sounds like the ocean when you put two ears together. <laughs> I can do it. Come on, crazy. Come on, crazy. Bring it. I'm so sick of your mouth. So come a little bit closer and get some of this in it. You want some of that? No, I ain't. No, you can't have my cheese. It ain't even mine.